This one is the Gary Mills Patriot. It's handcrafted from 01 high carbon tool steel. It's Scandi grind and full tang. The knife is very different compared to the usual Woodlaw style knives in the fact that, take a look, we've got a much thinner forward sloping blade. As you know, the grind on this is quite small. When I first got this knife, I thought it would um, be something that, you know, may, might affect the performance perhaps. But in actual fact, Gary's curved the edge and made it very forward sloping, which has made it, you know, perfectly adequate for all tasks, including slicing. First off, chest lever grip, see how it does. Very clean cut. Shows that a nice sharp edge and a curved belly does quite well, to, even if the grind height isn't that high. Let's try a leg, leg grip. Straight through that. That's as good as any other knife I've had. You know, that's that's fine, that's what you want. Now as we move on to the handle of the knife, you notice the scales are made of black Macarthur. This is something that I chose. Gary um, Gary makes knives to custom designs, but he also has his own um, stock of knives on his website that he'll sell out for around 120 to 180 pounds. Um, so the scales are a handmade Macarthur. We've got red liners and the tang is full length and full width. Um, the spine is roughly 4 millimeters, and um, basically this means that we've got a lot of um, a nice thick blade, nice and rigid, very very strong. This knife is absolutely bomb proof. And um, say if I was to batten for a massive log with this knife, due to the low grind I'd have no chipping, no edge rolling, and due to the thick spine I'd, you know, it had no problems. It's a brilliant battering knife this. Okay, so there's a thick piece of hazel. One problem I have found, where you might prefer to use a higher grind, um, is simply for doing push cuts. It can make doing the initial cut very, very hard, but there is a way to correct this. So if you want a piece of wood like that, Batten in very, very gently. That's a perfect little notch, perfect for a temp peg or maybe a trail. So as you can see the handle shape isn't particularly conventional. It's got a very big guard and quite a nice belly there. Now this is actually surprisingly comfortable. It's extremely comfortable in fact. It just holds on in a really nice grasp. There's no bits digging into me. I can hold it in all sorts of different positions. Backhand grip, side grip, forehand grip. I can put my thumb on the back of the blade and it's great for that. Um, you know, it's, it's a very, very solid grip. Like I say, this knife is extremely solid. There's no way your, your hand's going to slide forward or backwards when you're using this knife. It's absolutely bomb-proof. It's brilliant. And, you know, a handle that's comfortable is extremely important when, say, you want to do a lot of fine work, like carving for a prolonged time. So there we go, it's a rough spatula, um, something you could use for perhaps cooking when outdoors or as a miniature chopping board. Um, but this knife knocked this up in just about 5-10 minutes and, you know, it's, it's, it's not a primarily carving knife, it's a bushcraft knife, it's an excellent all around tool, but it's certainly capable of producing and shaping wood like this. Okay, so this is the sheath of the knife, this is also completely handmade by Gary Mills. Um, it's got a standard belt loop. It's um, got two really, really nice strong stitchings there and a little rivet there, so this is never going to come undone. 
Um, for those who prefer a dangler style loop, I believe this will probably be very, very easily converted to a dangler. Uh, the sheath is, I think it's about 3, three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter thick leather. Very, very strong, very, very nicely made. It's wet formed, which I really like, which means that the knife clicks into position and it's, you know, there's no way that knife's going to fall out. It's very, very secure. Um, got quite a square pattern there. Uh, which I think is quite a nice design feature. Anyway, the finish on the knife is, I have to say, this is probably one of some of the best I've ever encountered. You run your hand along like that and you cannot feel any difference from the tang to the scales. It's like this knife is just one solid piece of material, one solid lump. Gary's put so much attention to detail into this, it's unbelievable. You, that it's pretty much perfect along there. The grind is central. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with the finish on this knife. That's probably, you know, one of the best things about this knife, to be honest. And the shape and design. You've got your spear point edge, your spear point blade, rather, um, and the curved edge, and that's a really, really nice combo. Um, so you've got basically a lot of bite, and you've got a nice spear point for boring or, you know, opening up a rabbit, uh, like you get, let's say, a Woodlaw Star knife or another sort of spear point. Also the tip's quite thin, and that means that when you're carving, you get a lot of control of that tip. Like the Burden Trout I showed you in another review, this is also really, really nice for carving. Really nice little depressions like that. Very, very, very useful. Another thing I'm really impressed about the knife is its solidity. It's extremely strong. You know, you could not break this knife. You could pry things open. You can you can chop with it as I showed you earlier because it's got a nice weight to it it's very very nicely balanced um, this is actually one of the best you know bushcraft knives I've had and I've got quite a lot um, the Makata scales which um, Gary put on there for me as a custom edition are really nice they're very solid and they've got a nice grip in the hand so I, I think they're a really nice addition as well okay thank you for watching um, if you want any um, details on Gary, Gary Milder's knives, um, just check the link in the sidebar. Or, alternatively, you can send me a private message and I'll point you in the right direction.